that's it. When the family dog gets sick, you take it to the local vet. But who cares for the animals on today's modern farms? Right now, there's a shortage of veterinarians who specialize in the care of farm animals, with most vet school graduates preferring to go into metropolitan areas and treat pets. That lack of veterinarians to both treat farm animals and those who work for the government as inspectors is putting a lot of stress on our nation's food supply. NC State University is dedicated to doing something about that. Th that school is every year is ranked in the top five in the country. Uh, and there are a lot of well-respected uh, uh, practitioners and veterinarians there. Uh, I feel like that we received a, a, a class A education and uh, it really is just a, a class A vet school. North Carolina State University's College of Veterinary Medicine, located on a 180-acre campus near downtown Raleigh, was founded in 1979 and graduated its first class in 1985. The school has room for about 80 students per class year, with a total enrollment of a little over 300 students. In addition to the four-year degree, there are programs leading to master and doctoral degrees with numerous specialized opportunities, such as veterinary public health, biotechnology, and fisheries and wildlife. This is a really a very, very good university as a whole, as well as being a great college of veterinary medicine. I think that it truly embodies the ideals of the land-grant university, meaning that it is about educating uh, the young folks from North Carolina and beyond, but it's about also discovering new things and putting those things to work for the people of North Carolina, whether you're talking about sustaining agriculture, uh, industry, economic development, uh, public health, pet animal health. Uh, this, this truly is a great university that brings a lot of value to the state of North Carolina. With limited space for students and with agriculture in mind, the school has started the Food Animal Scholars Program that targets young people with an interest in farm animal veterinary medicine. We started this years ago as a swine and poultry scholars program with the College of Agriculture at North Carolina State and have since expanded it to a food animal scholars program including both North Carolina State and North Carolina A&T State University uh, looking for students interested in poultry, swine, ruminants, whether they be beef cattle or dairy cattle. Up to six seats are set aside each year for students from that program and so they're identified as undergraduates as individuals who are determined to go back into rural practice, into agricultural practice, and as long as they meet the minimal academic prerequisites, they track directly into the veterinary college. So it's a, at that point a non-competitive admission as long as they've met our, our academic requirements. But there have been a few that might have been on the, on the borderline of being admitted had they not been in that program who have gone on and become sec successful food animal practitioners. So I think it's benefiting those students and it's benef benefiting agriculture to have those folks out there. The school recruits students for the farm animal program early on, sometimes while they are still in the high school, especially searching out students who have a love for rural life and would likely return to it upon graduation. But there are some issues to finding qualified students from rural areas. One of the concerns of a, a student who comes from a predominantly agricultural county is that their high school will not be preparing them as adequately, particularly if you're looking at the AP courses as someone from Wake County or Mecklenburg County or Guilford County. If they aren't receiving a very high level of instruction in a, say, a rural community that might not have the resources, it's harder for them to catch up at the undergraduate level to be prepared for the, you know, the rigors of admission into veterinary college. The students in the Farm Animal Scholars Program likely had an interest in farm animal care long before they selected a career in veterinary medicine. I spend a lot of my time riding with large animal vets around home, um, some time here at the vet school working with Dr. Alley and a couple of the other large animal vets and um, just I worked at the beef educational unit with NC State uh, which is 
all beef cattle. The preparation for me was mostly um, the vet that I had at home that worked with us. He was great. He always tried to uh, help me out a little bit and uh, kind of push me towards it a little bit. But uh, our feedlot manager back home, um, Bernie Guza, has been amazing to me. He's kind of taught me just about everything that I've known and working with cattle. And I think we, we sort of have a philosophy in the way we recruit and retain faculty uh, that the faculty need to be outstanding not just as researchers but also as, as teachers and be passionate about teaching the next generation of veterinarians. That to a large degree is the, the reason that we exist as a college of veterinary medicine and we take that very seriously. I think that shows through in our students, our student pride uh, and the way our students uh, graduate with an attitude of serving the public, serving the community, serving the profession, uh, that's something we're very proud of. Thank you.